think I am back. But okay, okay, let's take it from the top. So we have these two idiots that you might know of. They're called, like, you know, William Mafton and Henry Elizabeth. I think that's what his name is speculated to be, you know? And so there's the two business partners. Willie Mafton's like, Willie, he's the purple dude, purple guy. That's what my mom has. The man behind the slaughter. Yeah, we're all caught up. Very good, very good. So from here, we started like, all right, so these two guys were like pretty good pals. They, they started to make a business, you know? They were like, hey, we, we like making robots. You like, we like kids. Put the two together. I like robot kids. Oh, hi. Welcome. Okay, so it is this thing, yeah, that uh, they put together like a restaurant, you know, Red Baron Friends. I think that's what it's called, you know? And uh, they go from there. They make the restaurant they start making money or whatever but william afton's a sadistic bastard and he, he likes kids like a little too much but he prefers them dead you know it's kind of weird so he, he kills those kids inside a little purple in like a suit of like a rabbit you know it's like fursona whatever you want to call it and so he stabs kids and he really enjoys it a, maybe a little too much and it kind of gets out of hand he starts killing a lot of kids so then he gets put under investigation, and he's kind of kicked out of the place because, you know, it's bad rep. Like, oh, yeah, there's a killer over here. So then Henry's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this bastard's the killer, so he won't let him back in. All right, so after that, and so Henry has a daughter, you know? Her name is, I'm pretty sure it's, like, Elizabeth or Charlie. I don't, I don't remember. One of, the, one of them is important. Well, I think they're both important, like, things, you know? And so what happens is, like, he makes, like, a robot, you know? It's called the security puppet, and it's meant to secure, secure his daughter. Like a green band, you know, it's seen in FNAF 6 and, like, the security puppet minigame. But she gets left outside, and due to William Afton being not allowed inside, he has to kill her outside of the place. You know, the puppet sees this, and he's like, oh, no, the guy's the that girl's gonna die. So to save her dying body, it goes outside and it's a protector, but you know, it like gets like, uh, it like transfuses with, uh, with the girl and all of a sudden like there's something called remnant inside and now she's like one with a puppet. It's a little weird. And so she, she becomes more important later in the story. She. Give, give, gift, give gifts, give life, you know? And so, you know, life goes on and he's like all sad. He's like, oh, yeah, I know it was William Afton, yeah, because that, that crazy bastard's like a little asshole. Isn't like he likes kids a little too much. And so life goes on and William Afton decides, oh, yeah, I need to kill even more kids, make this more efficient. But then after a while, keeps on killing kids and killing kids and realizes that well wait wait, wait I brain waves are getting a little crossed here. Well I'm pretty sure he does it goes on FNAF one, the little FNAF one mini games, you know. You see that at the end shows him like taking apart the suits because he realized, oh damn, I didn't know this, but like these things actually have power. So what he does is that he goes into the FNAF 1 establishment, because now he's allowed back in there, and what he does is that he kills kids, and in order to hide the bodies, he puts them in the suits. That's what those disappearing kids. So eventually, the place smells really, really bad, and there are a bunch of smell complaints coming from the suits, you know, like, I don't know, there's a kind of like a rotting kid in there. It's kind of bad, you know? So, uh, they... Sort of shut down. After that, what they do is that, like, they do the thing, and uh, the stuff happens. The the kids are inside of the suits, you know. Bad things happen, and the other the place gets shut down. What he realizes is that William Afton. He goes like, "Oh yeah, dude, I didn't know that. Like, kids can be inside robots, dude. That's like thing of the future. Robot kids." more kids to kill 
So what he decides to do is that he he takes apart the, the robots. He's like, yo, that's pretty crazy, you know? Like, robot kids, that's, that's like weird. What he does one day, he sneaks in behind and he lures the, the kids to the back room. Well, well, like he takes the suits, whatever, studies them. What he does is that he gets all the robots, I'm pretty sure, and he melts all their endoskeletons together in order to create like a pile of like, you know, robot metal souls, you know? So the metal souls, he uses them to create one-time animatronics. That's what he does. He goes on to create his own pizza chain, because you know, like pizza, like robots, let's make more. You know why? I stop by one, keep going. Okay, it's the fun time animatronics, which are showcased in FNAF 6. So we gotta backtrack a little bit as well. At uh, one point, he ends, he, he gets, we don't have to get smart, because you know, psychopaths normally have like pretty normal lives for the most part. So they don't look like overtly suspicious. So this guy gets a life, so I have a family, and he has a couple kids. Pretty sure he gets three kids. And so at the beginning, uh, at the, what he does is that he creates a fun time animatronics. The crazy thing is that these fun time animatronics, they're made specifically to capture kids. So he whips them all, he spruces them all up with cool features, like, I don't know, you can, like, a claw mouth, a parent manip mimicking, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, so he has all these cool stuff to help him capture kids, and he tells us, kids like oh you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing you shouldn't go near the robots because it's kind of bad it's not very good i die god overtly it doesn't work and on the very first day of it being of the thing opening it sadly has to close because william afton's daughter elizabeth gets scooped and she later goes on to possess the baby which is shown off later in sister location which is the location of his sister over that later so grieving father is like oh, oh my my uh my child got scooped and it's so very sad so then you know after that things get kind of a little murky my brain kind of stops working but then Possibly the name Evan, suggested by newer theories. And so this kid, he's really, William's really worried about this little kid. He's like, oh crap, um, I don't want him to die either. He has an older son, but he's, he already knows all that. He's good enough to protect himself. So what he does is, says, hey, 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 uh, crying child, child, uh, you shouldn't go this way. Kind of a bad idea. And, uh, what he does instead is create these discs that are considered a sound illusion discs. And what they're supposed to do is give his kids nightmares so he would be scared of the pizzeria. He still loves that at heart. Eventually, well, what's going on? Okay. So eventually, like, you know, he gets really scared of the pizzeria, and that's what FNAF works. It's like a, as you see all like the, the 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 the, the, the scary animatronics are not real; they're figments of his imagination. You see, and so that's where the dilemma comes up. And of course, as you see in the the, min, the mini games, once you beat a night in FNAF four, that he eventually has his birthday party there because he still loves the place, but. Due to his like crappy brother, you know, he he crams him into like uh the yellow bastard's head and he gets his head bitten off. Very pretty sad, you know. So, you know, after that uh, oh my god, I'm burning him. Well, that's not good. Okay. Okay, that's taken care of. Alright, so William Afton's obviously very, very sad. He's like, oh no, my kid just died. This is so sad, guys. 
And then we need to do a 3 a.m. summoning ritual, just like J Station, you know, get all those sweet, sweet clickbait views. And so what he says is at the end of the, at the end of the game, it says, I will put you back together, that famous, famous line. So he takes it kind of literally, and when he does, he turns him into a little robot, I think. I don't exactly remember. Yeah, I think. Am I right? I don't actually know. Okay, well, let's say he turns into a robot, I'm pretty sure. So, he gets turned into a robot. And after that, he's still kind of dead and whatever. Then, life goes on. He gets revived, but now he's a living, breathing robot that thinks he's a human. Kind of crazy, you know? And then, that's when we start to move on to the games. William Afton gets crazy with experimenting with Remnant, but eventually he... Back to FNAF 1, you can see in the cutscenes that he, like, in trying to figure out what the suits with power trying to escape the spirits. And so he gets stuck in the FNAF 3 location, which later gets renovated into the FNAF 3 location, which is Fazbear Frights. So that happens. And then Michael well, I think it's Michael Lafton, yeah. Hmm, you have to fact check me on that one. Well one of the one of the kids is dead. That's for sure, but one of them is a robot. I don't I don't exactly remember. But Michael Lafton, this one's for certain. He his dad tells me, Hey yo, you need to go check out your sister. She's still like in the floor. And uh yeah, you should go do that. What if you mess up while close the door? All right, maybe I shouldn't be doing this while playing Minecraft because I've come with a couple close calls. It's not a very good idea. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just stop. So that's when we move on to the actual games. He tells his son to go and try to and see his sister. So he goes to sister location, which is located under the FNAF 4 house, you know? He goes there. Uh, things happen. Uh, you know how the whole plan goes south, like, energy, which was the amalgamation, like, all, like, the fun time animatronics are like, oh, yeah, we all have, like, a couple souls in us. So I'll chuck them together in this, like, big pile of mush. What we're gonna do is grab a retard, happens to stumble into this place, scoop out his skin, and can just cram this dude inside of it. No great plan, flawless. I know. So they do that. And well, the first retard to end up over here is, of course, Michael Lafton. But since he's a robot, the plan goes too, but it fails, you know? And uh, they end up scooping him. He goes inside, then you go to the ultimate custom night. You go to the custom night cutscenes, and you see that. And it walks around inside Michael's body, but instead, he, like, gets spat out after a couple days. It's a rotting corpse, and he realizes, oh, yo, I'm actually a robot, what the hell? Dude, that's pretty crazy. So then from there, they start going from place to place. He decides, oh my god, my dad has killed all these kids. And he, like, try to free their souls. Oh yeah, and Golden Freddy somehow fits into this. Let me search this one out. How does Golden Gold and Freddy fit into the lore? Golden Freddy fit into the lore. Dude, this is Five Nights at Freddy's Phantom? No way. Appearance. Custom night. Dude, oh my god. Dude, this is completely... Piece of shit. This doesn't work out. This doesn't give me anything. There's a backstory of Golden Freddy. Oh yeah, her name is Cassidy. She's apparently important. Oh, she was like one of the first victims. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, right. You know... So he ends up dying. She ends up dying, and so Michael Lofton's going around from place to place, and 
event, he's like beating basically the Five Nights at Freddy's games. He goes around from place to place, finding all the things, and eventually he frees all their souls. He leads them all to one place. Well, we'll get to that in a moment. I think he goes through FNAF 1, then 2, wait, no, FNAF 2, 1, and 3, I think. Yeah. Oh, he gets attacked, but in the toy animatronics aren't possessed. That's because they really are just robots. They're just reacting to night guards because William Afton did work there. They got accustomed to attacking, like, those guys. So, you know, they did that. Go from place to place, and eventually they get to FNAF 3. She finally works at the, as the guard and the phantom animatronics are there, which may or may not be auditory hallucinations. But then they realize, oh yeah, there's a rotting corpse inside one of these walls. They open up the wall and oh my god, there's William Afton. He's spring trap. It's the man behind the slaughter. Purple dude, purple guy, orange man, yellow dude, mustard man. You know, all these different names, the pseudo names. You find him, you fight him, and FNAF 3, and, and then at the end, Henry been behind orchestrating the strings and all this oh my god it's been henry all this, all this whole time he's been leading michael from place to place trying to get him to clean up all of william's crimes and what he realizes is that that fire is the only way that you can get rid of remnant which is like the thing that the metal that's inside of soul the souls that are inside of metal so he tried to burn down fazbear frights to kill william and michael but it doesn't work and then you finally end up at FNAF 6, the finale. After there, whoa, holy shit, my knee just like exploded. Ow. Shit. Okay. Ow, shit, that hurt. Okay. Yeah, so then what they, they do stuff and. Hmm. Oh yeah, he tries, he tells you to bring all the, all the, like, the, the robots that still, like, exist, you know? And then he wants to free them, finally, with the fire. So if you do, it like, the, the, the true ending, which you bring all, like, the, all, like, the robots into the establishment, be all the knights, and you... Finally, when you get all the stuff, William Afton, maybe Molten Freddy, which is basically entered, and Lefty, which has like a puppet inside of it, I'm pretty sure. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And then you and finally the building gets torched, everybody melts to the ground. And then, Ultimate Custom Night's a little debated. People say that it's either there's one, which is Michael William Afton being held in a dream being kept alive by Cassidy, which is the Golden's Spirit of Golden Freddy, or he's in hell being tormented by Golden Freddy. The ultimate custom night, you play as Mike William Afton, purple dude, and he's basically forced to die over and over and over and over and over again in the hell that he's been, that he himself has created. So, yeah, it kind of ends there. Go back to Minecraft. Why is there a cow in the way? <laughs>